Hello everyone, today we're going to see how to do a pre-look system in Unreal 5.1. So I can see now my turret is moving, you can see that on the left corner that all the trigger are done. I'm going to press Alt, now I can't move the turret anymore, but now I can pre-look around my vehicle. And when I release, it's going to go back to the default view, and now I can move my machine gun once again. I can also control my vehicle and move my machine gun independently of it. And I can also press free lock and I can still control my vehicle. So we're going to see exactly how to implement the free lock system in Unreal 5.1. Well, first we're going to create a project. So we're going to go to game. I'm going to take the third person template and I'm going to call that free look. I'm going to create that. So in our project here, I already did a few things I'm going to go through with you just to save a little bit of time. So here under the world setting, if you don't have the world setting here on your detail panel, you can always click on the window, go all the way down and you have world setting right here. So you're going to have that window appear right here. So my game mode is the blue, uh, the blueprint, a third person character. And the default pound is this one here, which is called for me four wheel vehicle. And I'm using my own controller class and the controller class is only to select the input that we have here. So we're going to go through this together. So the first thing we're going to create a my controller so you can right click blueprint and you have player controller click on this and it's going to create this one here just name it my controller and we're going to open it. So in my controller here we're going to search for even begin play and an even begin play that is right there you can hold s on the keyboard to have a sequence and we need to add the mapping context so if you right click here in the empty space you can add mapping and if you don't see it you just uncheck the context sensitive and you have it right here so you have mapping here so you can just connect that to your den here and here it's where you're going to put your my input mapping context that we're just going to create in a minute and from the target here, you can just drag and search for the um, get ancient input local player subsystem. You click on this and now you have it and you're all set and good to go. Just plug that to your even begin play and you're all good. So we're going to compile this. So we're going to go back to our map here and we have to create an input mapping context. So just right click on the content browser you can go to input and just here under input mapping context, click on this. It's going to create this here just name it my input mapping context and you're all good with that so we need to create two key one for the free look and one for the free look key so you can do the same thing right click on the content browser input and you have input action right here so you can click and create two of those when which one's going to be named ia underscore free look underscore well i mean ia free look and the other one will be our IA free look key. And I'm going to start with the free look here. So we're going to go right in it and action description and just put a name here. The value type, it's need to be a access 2D. So you just click on the drop down menu and select access 2D and you compile and save. You can exit and we're going to go to the look key this time. This one is a little bit different. So the type will be a digital bull so the first one it should be by default this one we're going to add the trigger to add the trigger you just click here on the plus it's going to drop an index here and you can click on the index and we're going to select old and release and we can save this so now we're going to go to my controller so we're going to go to my controller and here we can now select my input mapping context just select this and compile and save now that we have our control already implemented in the game, we're going to use those control in our blueprint. So in my case, in my vehicle right here. So I'm going to go to this blueprint. You can see it's a normal blueprint. So from here in the board, we're going to search for IA underscore the free look. And I'm going to start with the free look key. And we have it right here. So the free look key. From that, we're going to need to create a boolean here. It's already there. For me but you can just click here on the plus to go do a variable call it free look key and make sure it's a type boolean so when you have that created just drag it on your board i'm going to do a set and from the start here we're going to connect this to our set make sure it's true and we're just going to copy that and we're going to do the same thing from cancel and 
it completed and make sure this time it's on check okay so we're going to take the spring arm because it's what it's attached to our camera so we're going to take that and going to drag that right in the middle right here from that we're going to drag and we're going to search for pound control rotation and we're going to do a set and we're going to connect this right there we're going to copy the same thing once again this time we're going to put that on the bottom one and make sure that this one is unchecked and this one need to be checked we're going to connect the target to both of them the reason why i'm taking the spring arm is that when you click on the spring arm here we need to use the pound controller rotation so we're going to move with our mouse it's going to check this box and when we release it's going to uncheck this box so when we drive our vehicle uh if we move the mouse it's going to control the turret in the example that you saw but when you press alt it's going to activate this key which is going to deactivate the control for the turret and it's going to make us the possibility to move the mouse around our vehicle so from that the first one i'm going to search for a print string and in the print string here i'm just going to type uh, free look key and i'm going to take this copy it on the bottom here i'm going to obviously connect that right there and i'm going to say release free look key so we can try this out now so if our key worked properly so we're going to go to our map press play when i press you can see that in the corner here I should have free look key and when I release free look release so you can see that you see something is happening when we click because we're going under the free look so the camera start moving but we didn't implement the mouse and keyboard I mean the mouse to move around so it's only doing this so we're going to go back to our blueprint so we know that the key is working properly for us so we're going to go right under we're going to search for IA and this time is going to be our free look which is going to be attached to our mouse not attached but we're going to do the configuration for our mouse so we're going to start with a branch here we're going to put that to start uh sorry to trigger and the condition for that trigger will be our free look key so if we do have our key press we're going to be able to move around uh, the vehicle so from the input action here we're going to drag and not drag we're going to right click on the action we're going to do split stru structure and it's going to give us access to y and x so we can drive from x right next to our branch and we're going to add control and we're going to take the yeah input and we're going to make that to true we're going to repeat the process with the y and this time it's going to be our pitch and we're going to plug it right there so now if it's true that we're pressing alt on our keyboard it's going to allow us to move with a mouse on our cursor and not, uh, the mouse around the vehicle and when we release it's going to make this no longer available for us so it's going to reset our mouse to default so we can try this out so we can obviously do a print string here and we can just write you know uh free look around vehicle just to make it easy for us to read on the screen so we compile and press play so now if i press alt i have free look key release release free look key but if i hold it now you can see it's saying free look around the vehicle so everything is working perfectly for us when we release it's going to go back to the default view right behind the vehicle so that's pretty much this so now you have it the same code for your game to have a free look system it should work exactly like this with unreal uh, 5.1 so i'll catch you on the next one and thank you for watching